Hey, folks! Welcome again to my stream. I'm glad you're all here. I'm glad you're having fun. I'm glad it's a, it's a good day for everybody. I certainly hope everybody's excited for some more Deadly Premonition. I know I am. I'm going to go ahead and pull in the folks. The wonderful folks that are in chat. I'm going to undeafen myself. We got Gonzo and Komobungus. Hello. Hi. Hey, Komodo. This is one of the first streams you've been to in a while. Yeah, it's been a fair minute. I might not stick around for that long, but yeah, we'll see. Don't be a disappointment now. Aw. Uh, Don't let Daddy down. Okay. If you do, he'll make you regretty. Can Huh. Can you actually go live from fucking cans? It's ruined. There it is. What happened? Well, I have the tradition of picking out an energy drink and opening it just before I start stream. So you get the ASMR of that nice cap crack. Crack and open a cold one. I say. Today we have rain razzleberry. Sounds pretty good. Movies I'm looking forward to this weekend. To be honest, I haven't paid attention to what's coming out. Uh, Apparently, Barney and Oppenheimer are the big things right now. Yeah. Uh, yes. Because I want to talk about really... You want to go... <laughs> you want to uh, sing an old ass single and then all of a sudden experience <laughs> how the father of the atomic bomb made his invention. I'm going to watch the movie about how proud America is that they made the nuke. <laughs> He's sitting there watching the bar movie in the next door, in the entire thing just explodes from the Oppenheimer screening next door. You know, the way I'm actually seeing the movie is like they're historically trying to Barbenheimer. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's the term. It's a combo. That is the term. <laughs> yeah, considering. Barbie's just like sitting there with the freaking Mattel Empire and she's just like, I am become death destroyer of kids. Well, considering what I looked up about, like, shit like Maxi's world, uh, it's not surprising. I mean, Barbie <laughs> is pretty much the, the, you know, the head honcho, you know, the ideal of, you know, dress-up dolls. Dress-up dolls said silence. Also, I don't know if, it'll be, if Barbie will be, like, if there'll be people in the theater next door, because... Is, I think Barbie's a lot shorter than o Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer, I heard, is about two hours long. And I bet <laughs> Barbie would probably run into the, you know, the typical hour 30-ish range. Gotta see that Oppenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first time, like, something silly and kids like oh, got boy. thrown with something. was released on the same day as something adult and dark and shit. Do you remember fucking Isabel and fucking... A doom guy because of animal crossing new horizons and doom eternal you know you, you, <laughs> i kind of do i like how i was i was letting the whistle theme play in the background right it's nothing special i'm just like playing it through youtube and i forgot to put it on uh loop and now it's switched to snake eater but it's sung by spongebob patrick squidward and plankton ai cover wow beautiful Ugh. what a what a what a thrill indeed. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to let the chat listen to it. <laughs> I know um Ricky could potentially be showing up after dinner. If she does, I hope she brings sauce, so do me a favor and keep an eye on the wait here if you see anybody uh pop in there. 
Mm. All right. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to play a little bit of this because it's, like, kind of funny. Of course it is. Exactly the rare exact tool to be brief is right. the rock. It's now at the beginning of the rock. I'm trying to finish up the... Uh... <laughs> what a thing. <laughs> With carpet and shine and chicken and iron. <laughs> Full of dreams I'm searching and I'm looking to you Like, in my opinion, this cannot be argued with The opening song for Metal Gear Solid 3 Is probably one of the most beautiful pieces of musical media That's been created in gaming Oh yeah, it sounds great It's it is an interesting, like, it's it's kind of reminiscing of, uh, you know, some of the classic Bond openings from, like, Goldfinger onward. Oh, that was the point. Yeah, yeah. That was the point, because Naked Snake, before he uh, created Foxhound, was a CIA agent. Enough of that. <laughs> I don't. I don't. To... I don't want to play the whole thing, but that was that was a that was a nice little treat. Yeah. Something enjoyable to open before you go back into torturing yourself with potential bugs. Indeed. As now I we get to what you all on. came here for. Now I would screen share it, but instead I've gone with a low latency stream on YouTube so you guys can watch. It's only like a second delay. All right. It's not good enough. No. Well, every time I try to screen share this thing, because I had to do like compatible with like Windows uh, freaking... Uh, what was it? Windows XP or some crap? Oh, one of those. Yeah, I mm -hmm. had to do. I had to do one of those uh, compatibility mode things, or the game just like wouldn't allow me to continue the previous stream. It was like a yeah. It was like a troubleshoot that Kiba and the others helped me find. Yeah, the hosp There was a bug at the hospital where it just stops progression. Literally. During the investigation, these puppies are making me go to. We're not fucking replaying the previously on the investigation thing because there's nothing new to the transition. The lumber mill is pretty far from here. If that's where she was killed, why would the killer go to all the trouble of carrying her all the way here? I don't know yet. My profiling instincts tell me one thing is for sure, though. The unsub's personality is totally different before and after the crime. The unsub killed her in a... Throwing some supper on. on. And then displays powerful adoration after his death. Something close to love. I know Patrick did hit those high notes. I'll agree. <laughs> I will say this though, George, profiling is a risky business. I remember, I remember seeing a GameStop meme where there was like one, uh, there was like two games that came out at the same time, which was Animal Crossing: New Leaf and Doom Eternal. Both came out around the same time. Uh, so, yeah, exactly. Who knew Horizons? Yeah, yeah, Horizons. Animal Crossing New Horizons. It was on, um, Animal Crossing New Horizons. enough, 420. Yeah. And... I hate this car. Uh, eventually, when you progress a little bit further, you'll be able to get other cars. When I first joined the force, this lumber mill was still in full swing. They closed up right when I first moved here. And now it's totally abandoned. I presume so. 
I've never really been inside, been... so I don't know for sure. I still can't get over the what fact that I can drift Deserted with, uh... Criminal hideouts and activities. I keep telling RV. But yeah, the, do that in what it's supposed to be a detective game. I don't know, but hey. The meme I saw was Maybe. like like this really hardcore metalhead, and then like this uh, cute uh, cute uh, freaking um, Nico Nico knee looking girl in a skirt, and the metalhead was like, I demand Animal Crossing. And the uh, the cute girl in the skirt was like, one copy of Doom Eternal, please. Oh, I will, Agent York. <laughs> yes. Was like I think I remember seeing that somewhere. Yeah. As well. They, uh... Well said, Jerry. Yeah. Can you step on it, Agent York? Sure! I just whipped it! <laughs> yeah. Can you step you know, on for it, all those <laughs> For all those car chases that you needed to do. In this game, that they were they were totally planned, just like the combat sequences. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they even fucking built a game about it. Like, there is a tower. I remember, uh, there was a company called Fox Interactive, which was a subsection of I think either 21st Century Fox or whatever. They decided to make you know those world scariest police uh, videos, turn that shit into a game. They did end up doing that, and I played it for a bit. Like way back. Yeah, I can't get out of the car. All right, I'll have to come back to this later. <laughs> I will say, Metal Gear Solid has to be like close to uh, one of my favorite uh, works from Konami, though. Like, don't get me wrong, Silent Hill is impressive for what it was, but Metal Gear Solid still holds a special place in my heart. Like, especially that, that Snake Eater opening song. It still sends a shiver down my spine whenever I hear it. Fair enough. I, I'll i say this. I've heard a lot about Metal Gear, and I actually have the first two games, but I've never actually touched it. Really? Yeah. I don't know what it was. I, I would, like, I'd hear people talk about it go, oh, what, what's this? I would watch some videos, go, oh, okay, that looks kind of cool, and then I just never actually looked when and looked at it oh I, again i do have the first two games so i could so i probably should i probably could get started if i wanted to i probably should at some point yeah definitely um it's like interesting so metal gear solid follows after the continuity of Metal Gear's 1 and 2, which I think were, like, for the SNES. Yeah. Actually, wait, no. And Also, I, I wasn't entirely, uh... I forgot for a second. I did play 5. I did actually play 5. So there's that. Yeah, Phantom Pain... I, I, I was talking about, like, from 1 to 4. I didn't yep. play. Yeah, Phantom Pain was the last one that Kojima worked on. While I have this stupid Hawaiian suit on, I can't trust you. <laughs> I've never been so insulted. Have you noticed that during the fucking scene, fucking our sheriff just acted sassy as hell? Is it just me or is the game really quiet on the stream? Uh, is it? It sounds like it, I'm not sure. Turn it up a little. See, the audio balancing in this game is, like, really weird. I noticed. Yeah. At certain points, it can be, like, super quiet, and at other points, it can be, like, blaringly loud. Oh, no, here comes trouble. Oh, shit. They're not fooling around no more. Um, 
Neither are you, judging by your outfit. Don't go to Hawaii, they said. Come to the West Coast, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Damn. I was all set for my vacation in Hawaii. I'm going to need a steel bet, pipe. Why, why did you take a car? Why, why, <laughs> why, did, why did you take a car to the fucking West Coast instead of a plane all the way to Hawaii? Because... <laughs> It's my mission. I have to I have to figure out who stole the Oreos. <laughs> and I'm gonna do it with my professional FBI agent uh, lead pipe. My FBI approved pipe I found in a fucking heap of junk. And I just destroyed <laughs> my pipe. Back to my infinite ammo pistol. Dang. Like, this pistol's good. But I have to get reoriented with the aiming system on this thing. Alright. That weapon's good, but it could be better. Life is good, but it could be better. I have to aim to reload. That's how, like, uh, wonky this game's mechanics are. Uh, it should, because, like, um, I think that's kind of the feel they were going for. Though, I will say, comparatively, Deadly Premonition is no Silent Hill. For one, the horror aspect is taken completely out of this game because of the unlimited ammo pistol. And also, silly, friggin' I mean, bits of more. humor and shit. This game? Silly? Nah. Just as I thought, Zack. This is where Anna was killed. It's a masterwork in horror. Let me just smoke a cigarette at the crime scene. Time to start profiling. Now that was a trippy ass smoke. Too much noise. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. Zach, I didn't know Marlboros can have traces of LSD. Did it really go along with Project MK Ultra? <laughs> <laughs> I knew this was a deep state conspiracy, Zach. <laughs> oh shit, a submachine gun. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Who needs a pistol when you got a machine gun at a crime scene? But does the machine gun have unlimited ammo? Zach, it's almost I didn't like think so. Is the murder mm -hmm. some kind of ritual? That's the biggest issue. Let's see, what am I looking for, Charlie? Oh, another steel pipe. Wait, hold on. No. What? I've got the farming glitch, but for steel pipes. Oh. Time to 
Time to sprint, Zach. <laughs> Gotta find my way around here. Uh oh. The phone's ringing. Let me just take a nap. While the phone's ringing. <laughs> I'm no sure it won't. I'm sure it'll go to voicemail. <laughs> Zach, I'm very hungry. Give me the lollipop, Zach. Give me the coffee. No, Zach, I don't want that. I want the can of pickles, Zach. <laughs> Wait, no way. I can eat the worm? No! Bad idea, though. That'd be terrible. I have nothing but canned pickles and lollipops in my inventory. Taste, tastes like dirt, like coffee. <laughs> what? Let me just polish off my, like, freaking huge amount of lollipops I had. Yeah, let me just shave. Shave in the spooky freaking lumber mill where there's a murder crime scene. Why not? Oh, and look, another lollipop. Don't mind if I do. This would be me in real life. It's like I'm in the crime scene. A mysterious phone starts ringing. Let me eat like 20 lollipops. <laughs> Oh no, not this shit again. One. Skyrim logic. Two. I should play that at some point. Skyrim. Three. Four. You can pick up the phone. <laughs> Reverse peace sign, start profiling. Oh my goodness. Allow me to... Go, allow me to reality profile the crime scene. So, um, to the, to the previous question I had asked in chat, cause I had completely forgotten. I think, um, I think razzleberry tastes like blue raspberry. So I've got the crimson suit or the Hawaiian suit right now. So of course I'm going with the Hawaiian suit. What is in this locker? Smoked salmon. Don't mind if I do. Wait, hold on. Hold on. No way. So in this old rusted locker, I didn't find a can of smoked salmon. I found a prepared plate of smoked salmon. Yeah, totally going to eat that. Ooh. I got a key. Oh, 
You want me to leave with another lollipop? Oh no, the enemy! Ah! Got it. Yeah. Let's go. I got my flashlight now. This is how I enforce the law. <laughs> Where is the enemy at? Oh, there you are. Ah, it reminds me of the good old days. Ah! They just keep spawning. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Did I hear pussy? No way. <laughs> oh, a breaker switch. So I shot a switch enough times and that solved my problem. Just like real life, all you have to do is shoot things. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of water. So I always carry an infinite ammo pistol with you. Absolutely. My standard issue FBI infinite ammo pistol. Wow, I'm, I've got like tank control aim. If they're too close to me, I really can't hit them. Let me just climb up the pipe. Oh! The upside down peace mark. Oh, uh, you just came out of the wall. So I wouldn't really like, I can't really compare this to like Resident Evil or Silent Hill. And I can't really even say it's a game like Resident Evil and Silent Hill. Fair enough. Oh boy, a baby crying. That's always good in horror always games, right? Yeah. It's always exactly. a good thing. Go towards the crying baby. Or towards anybody screaming, crying for help, whatever. Yeah, or just like, you know, people being like mean, generally. Mean people are good in horror games. Ironically enough, that's true. Mean people are good in horror games. Like, if somebody's too nice to you, odds are they're unhinged. Let me just break these crates so I can get through. I'm coming, baby! York is on his way. Slowly but surely. Just 
Slow and steady wins the crying baby race. What, I can't even open the locker? What the fuck? Okay, whatever. I guess I'll go towards the baby. Because he's clearly not this way. <laughs> it's literally just a baby crying on loop. You know, like as babies do in real life. <laughs> the same exact crying. Here. I like how I like how the baby crying stopped after I got to the toilet. Blackish red color. That shit looks like jam. Who just like took a jar of jelly and like dumped it in the toilet? Well, let me flush the toilet, I guess. Um, the smell finally hit him. Or that. Uh. Uh oh. Oh, did he kick down this gate? Huh. I thought it was some red hooded guy with an axe, but I guess not. Uh, yeah, it's the raincoat killer. Yeah. Why was there a baby crying until I approached the toilet and flushed it? Oh, I get it. It's a euphemism for abortion. Maybe. I don't know. I couldn't tell you for certain. Mega Drive says toilet paper. Maybe, maybe the baby was just in the toilet the entire time. It's like, huh? No. No, please. Toilet baby. <laughs> well, it certainly oh. didn't cry when I flushed it. It must have drowned. Drowned fetus. <laughs> We're a family-friendly channel here, folks. Yes. Talking all about the family-friendly topics of uh, shooting people and flushing babies down the toilet. You just don't like to die, do you? Runs into a fucking... Into the fucking doorway, dumbass. No wonder this lumber mill was abandoned. Whoa! Whoa! That actually got me. Damn it, Zach. Why did you tell me about that guy around the corner there? I can't trust you anymore. Zach, why didn't your om omnipotent powers work? It's because they're These not... Zombies bleed green jello. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's because they're, like. they're not zombies. They're, like, called something else, but I forget. Shadows, I think. Gotta get to the baby. 
No crying babies on this guy's watch. Um, I'm coming, baby. Even though you may or may not exist. Look, if it's a figment of my imagination, it must just be an embodiment of my conservative values. Well, this isn't suspicious at all. Are you in the locker, baby? Gearbox, why were you crying? Is it because you haven't made a game in a few years? Poor baby. Here, I'll take you with me, I guess. Uh oh. Okay, why did that happen? Um. Let's say you got Oh! A... Oh, this isn't good. Well, it was either. Why'd you fire on the fucking barrel that's right next to you? Because it was either that or get bum rushed. If I had to, uh. <laughs> If I had to choose between individually shooting each and every single one as they slowly encroached, or giving myself a small ouchie despite tanking an explosion to the face, well, you know, you it's could have moved a little. You could have moved a little bit away. Nope. But where's the fun in that? Yeah, where is the fun in that? Como gets it. Como gets me. Oh! Oh, she's got me! Oh! Get away from me! That's what happens, they can grab you. Who knew? Nothing in the toilet. No toilet babies this time. Oh, a toilet baby! Bye bye. Give me a first aid kit. Okay. Won't question it. I have incurred many ouchies on this journey. I have to like walk like I'm going down a fashion a fashion lane. Ha! Another toilet baby. Oh. Uh, no. They make slimy noises. Ew, ew. Flush the red stuff. Well, something dropped, but I don't know where. Oh. Oh, okay. So that's what I get for flushing the toilet. Note to self, do not courtesy flush. A flare. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, lockers. Nice 
Don't mind me while I pick up band-aids. Ew, there's a tentacle in there. Black coffee. I don't know how long that coffee's been sitting in there, but gimme. This requires my full focus. Explosion barrels. <laughs> Let me try to... Really? Okay. <laughs> Ow. So the radius on those explosions is pretty good. Motor doesn't seem to work. Okay. I'm going to go over to the motor. That's how we do it. We'll put the gearbox in here. Gearbox. Yeah, I did it. All right, let's go, boys. I don't know. Does that mean the shadows taste like lime if they bleed green jello? Probably. I've been staggered by the elevator getting jammed. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Huh? <laughs> there was hair in there. Who shoved their head in the gears? Oh boy. Oh boy. Fun, now they're on the elevator. Aha! All right, well, that could have been worse. I think, uh, cause, you know, you know, that's how elevators sound. Yeah, totally. Woo. Oh boy, a save point. Why not? Alright, there we go. 
there's a door here or a hallway down here. Let's see what goes down this way. Free stuff. Oh boy, just random lollipops sitting on the ground. Why not take them? So, given some thought, I can definitely think about, like, Resident Evil 4 and junk like that, at least with the uh, aiming controls in this game. Yeah. Yeah, th that's about all the credence I can lend to this game, feeling, like, uh, familiar or similar to any of those. Really, the way the shadows manifest and stuff like that, and the way that Francis actually winds up in the other world randomly could be reminiscent to Silent Hill. Uh, but ironically enough, this is a lot more like Alan Wake before Alan Wake. I was going to say, yeah, this, the way this whole thing sounds, and the, what, from what I've seen, it's, it looks like it's just a worse version, a worse, I guess, earlier version? I don't know if it's game, yeah. game before after. Okay, it came before. It's like a worse early version of uh, Alan Wake. That's what this feels like. Like a beta version. Yeah. The game also, when the creatures make sounds, the sounds actually sound like they're coming from all directions, uh, because this game didn't really understand omnidirectional audio. Yeah, that's that's kind of helpful when you're in a survival, ga survival game like this, where you need to figure out where the monsters are coming from so you can react appropriately and not just do a 360 no scope hoping you smack the guy before he shows up. Pretty much. Whoa! Like that. I have taken enough uh, first aid kits. I shall put some band-aids on. These band-aids are good. All right, Francis, let's go. My pipe broke. Yeah. That door is locked, great. Yeah, shoot it off. Mm -hmm. Looks like you could do it. Oh my god, yeah, you're right. I remember what I did at the beginning of the game now. Bye-bye, Locke. What a puzzle. Um...
Oh, I get it. Oh, there's something by Thank the, you, uh... Evil Tree, for just slurping all that goop up. Yes, and there's a uh, hand doorknob. Yeah. Interesting. Um, so that was some trippy, unexplained stuff we just did. Running my corners. I think one thing I like about the game definitely is like the uh, voice acting is pretty decent. Well, albeit kind of corny. Yeah, it's definitely corny, but it, it's not terrible. I don't mind it. Yeah, it's like that right kind of cheese for like a corny video game. Yeah. Like, um, this, this honestly feels reminiscent of, like, a lot of those, uh, Dreamcast era or PlayStation 1 games, where the voice acting was, like, either offsetting or janky. Yeah. It wanted my hand. It's like, damn it, you stole my doorknob hand. Now I need a new one. Give me yours. It's okay, I found a fake fingernail. Now I can profile the kiss further. <laughs> like how I'm just finding evidence by interacting with random crap. Let's do it. Yeah. It's one vital piece to the puzzle missing, Zach. Valve's controlling the gas. I wonder why these are lying around. Huh? Okay. Well, that's one heck of a way to be confronted with your killer. <laughs> I like how he's like roaming very slowly down the hallway, but then as soon as I walk, he just like sonic dashes. <laughs> Like, man, this guy did not skip leg day. Oh boy, a random coffee. But just lying, just leaving crap lying around. A turkey sandwich. That looks like the most disgusting sandwich I've ever seen. You have yet to encounter the fucking sinner sandwich yet. Shh, that's coming up. Probably will take a while, but yeah. See, I was aware of this game uh, prior. It was one of the primary reasons I wanted to play it. Because I, I had it. I was like, oh, well, Deadly Premonition 2 is a thing now, so of course I want to play. Let me just push these boxes out of my way.
Uh-oh. Oh, he got me. Okay. Die. Just die. That death screen, though. Investigation failure. Okay, I had no clue that was where I was supposed to go. All right. Oh, I see. No matter what hallway you go down, he'll try to... He finger wags that too if you actually yeah. evade him. Okay, so no matter what hallway you go down, he's actually camping at the corner. Close my door. Yeah. Ugh, that's beautiful. All right. Dang, these hallways are like a maze right now. Like, this place is huge compared to the last map we were on. Uh-huh. This a door. Through this door, all right. For whatever reason, shouldn't try to get in there. Okay, there's a save option here. Okay. Interesting. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, you gotta love that. There's like a little peephole in the door. <laughs> you can see him like, like right uh, there. You have yeah. like you have like an option to peek, but you can just like fucking see him. <laughs> yeah. And it's like uh, beady red eyes. Just, hold on. So not ready yet. I'm waiting for you to see. So you have to be afraid. <laughs> I'm scary. Booga booga booga. <laughs> Shall now hide. Right at that. Try underneath that one table. What underneath Thanks. the table? <laughs> yeah. I think if I remember one guy's playthrough, he managed to look out with it. <clears throat> I wonder if it's like randomized where he searches, because like I remember this part. You have like a limited time till he breaks down this locked door. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna take a peek. Oh, hey, you're like right there. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, poopy. Time to hide. <laughs> Here he come. I love what the game does here when this whole scene happens. There's just the yeah, there's just a camera following. They're like, ooh. And is he next? Is he gonna get you? Is he coming like up a, on your hiding spot? It's like a first person perspective, like, oh, is he looking for you? Are you in here? I think he's gonna find me. <laughs> Oh, I see. If I don't hold my breath, he'll see me. Oh, no, I don't even get a sequence. He just kills me oh. if he finds me. I didn't know I had to hold my breath. How ridiculous. I didn't even think the game well, told you to do it. Or did it? I don't know. It did. It, he just wasn't quick enough. Ah. Yeah, the game told me to do it. Just, wow, that's dumb. Let's do this again. Remember to hold your breath, Zach. You gotta think, too. He has to, like, lean on the very far side of the door and, like, look through, like, the left-hand corner at an angle in order to see me on the phone. He's like, I see you. Hear him come. Hear that boy. Oh, Lord, he coming. I think no matter what, he follows the same pattern, checking the same two lockers. But he won't check under the table if I hold my breath. I don't know why he has a demon voice. Well, to mask who he might be. Hold RB to keep holding your breath.
I didn't have the depth perception to check under the table. I also can infinitely span axe, spawn axes and clip through doors too. Or his axe is yeah, a lot more like time. Mjolnir. Let's go. Oh God! The fact that it like I fucking... returned. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get out of here, Zach. But first, let me save. I'm going to poopy my pants, Zach. Hell, you will be. Oh shit. What the? How's this work? Okay, so I'm pushing this box for whatever reason. And then I've got to keep running. Oh boy. This is ridiculous. Oh, he's coming for my ass. Uh, run, York. What is this fucking sequence? Holy shit. He got me. Oh. Keep running. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. I don't know why it wanted me to do the sequence this way. He's coming for my ass. He's coming for my ass. Oh shit. He's coming. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he got me. Oh, please give me an option to live. Keep running. Oh, what the hell? I have to keep running from these steam geysers. Okay, I made it. <laughs> what yeah. the hell? That he Matrix dives away from another throne axe? I don't know. I'm gonna need a lot of band-aids after that one, Zach. It's band-aid time. <laughs> I am literally just going to start applying band-aids to him. All better. Holy shit, that was crazy. Holy shit. That was insane. Just hoping I don't have to deal with that again. Lollipop. Well, I guess my only way to go is back down the elevator. Turkey sandwich has Miracle Whip on it instead of mayo. Yuck. How dare you disparage the glory of Miracle Whip? Oh! Oh, shit. Um... Oh, okay, cool. X was evade this time. I just want to point out, this guy, like, took a massive fucking drop just to get me. Oh. 
He's gonna get my ass. Oh. Wow. A three button push. C you know, everybody loves like freaking uh, these freaking quick time events, you know? Yeah, right. They're the best. That's these why were, every game has them and these they were haven't always, died out of recent years. These were always so popular, especially the ones you don't have any time to react to. Yeah. I, my favorites are the ones where they stick them in the middle of cutscenes where 99% of the rest of the runtime, nothing happens. And then all of a sudden you have to suddenly react to something you didn't even expect was going to happen in the first place. I love those. Send <laughs> he just climb over the railing and jump down the shaft. Yeah, he's just looking at you like, really, really, that's your best option. Shoot the button, and I'll just go back up the elevator. Well, at least you got all the clues. That was York's amazing plan: dodge, dodge, shoot button, go back up elevator, bad guy. <laughs> I love it. I mean, it, it it's just that right type of corny. Hmm. It makes perfect sense. That's all the information we need, Zach. Go back and show them what we found. Time to get out of the lumber mill. Bro, we were inside so long, the rainstorms passed. Bright red. I was just attacked by the raincoat killer. Bullshit! <laughs> they throw a rock at him.
All right, let me smoke a cigarette while you show me your back. Oh, no, it's horrible. Too slender and nice looking. You couldn't possibly be the killer. Mm. She's cleared. But just to make things equal. Okay, George, your turn. <clears throat> All right. For feminism, I'll show you my Burt Reynolds back. His handlebar mustache. All right, let's see yours. Oh, yeah, that's a man's back. Daddy likey. Wait, that's not what I'm looking at it for. Uh, I mean, you're cleared of suspicion. Holy fuck. That's concerning. That's really concerning. Um... All right. I have to deliver a public address. It's extremely crucial we get this right. All right. Agent Morgan, it's past 2100. Let's meet up again at the community center tomorrow. I haven't been sleeping much since this all started, to be honest. I'm exhausted. I was just about to suggest the same thing. I'll make arrangements for people to gather between 1500 and 1700. I'll try and get as many people as I can to come, so don't be late. Gotcha. So don't be late. I'll be there. The community center's on the south side. I've marked it on your map. Thanks, Thomas. Well then. See you tomorrow. You guys have like some of the jerkiest movements and it's funny as hell. All right. Patrol car, let's go. Oh no. My car is almost out of gas. Okay, I gotta find my way out of here. I know I kept seeing that talk button. Yeah, that's the... Sometimes when it's just... After enough driving, it pops up and uh, all of a sudden you can hear... Uh, Dad, is there something here you hear... Uh, we need to be at the community center by 1500 today. Uh, you are just to talk about... Talking if 
random shit people. to you, you as Zach, I guess. It's going to get fun. Wait, if I drive long enough, I get to talk to Zach or some shit? It just happens in a while, I guess. And after a while, uh, Francis will run out of shit to say and uh, I just go, huh? No, there's nothing. And would also resort to just whistling. Neat. Gotta find my way out of here. Alright, here we go. So, what about those bonus features in PDDs nowadays? <laughs> Ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that video store... He just talks to himself. Just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes? Don't Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Produced, directed, and written. Okay, this guy has some strange interests, and I'm here for it. The original was re-released in 95. The 87-minute long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. But that was around the time I joined the Bureau. I'll never have a chance to see it. I know, Zach. Once this case is over, we can watch it together. I'll bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. I think I'm going to run out of gas on this patrol car before I make it back into the town. And then I have to dodge debris in the middle of the road. This went from like driving to freaking Donkey Kong Country. Whoa, Zach! We almost got hit! Whoa! Okay, Zach, I'm gonna whip it. I think we're safe. Hey, Zach, you want to watch me do donuts real quick? Well, it was almost a donut, Zach. Like how there's just a train car here. I wonder if I can interact with that. No. Speaking of 80s movies, one jewel in the rough springs to mind. Deadly Spawn. Do you remember that one, Zach? Back in 83, directed by Douglas McKenna. Well, it was filmed pretty cheap, but still it was pretty good. The monster design with the mouth crammed full of teeth. I loved it. So many delicious B-movie cliches. Did you know that they made a sequel? But I never got to see the sequel. The rental store didn't have it for some reason. They said the staff for the sequel was totally different from the original. I wonder how the sequel turned out. You know, the monster in that one responded to sound. Wait, Zach. Sounds a lot like the movie Tremors. That one was back in oh no, the car slowly slows down after it's run out of gas. Oh no. <laughs> He's still talking as he runs out of gas. <laughs> oh shit, Zach. Uh, we're out of gas. <laughs> I think the flare I can use to call in for help I've shot a road flare into the sky Zach squad car should be on the way hopefully not the same one Brand new squad car. Let's go, baby. Just like that with a road flare. Yeah. So so wait, they just deliver a new car and you just leave your old one behind. Yeah. I'm a menace. I... Zach, speaking 
So what happens to the guy that delivers the car? Did you, does he just walk home? <laughs> yep. It's like, well, sir, here's your new squad car filled up and ready to go. Do you remember that one, Zach? Bye. And just walks down the road. <laughs> uh, hopefully they called a tow truck beforehand. Zach, we're here. Let's continue our chat later. I'm going to the community Can center. For people to come between 1500 and 1700. We can't do anything here right now. Let's come back at the right time. Okay. Let me just uh, arrange to look at my map. I'm in Greenvale. Where is my stuff? You get side missions in this game. So can I not place markers? All right. can't do anything until I'm at the uh, community center at the right time. You know, for such a small town, this place has a big-ass community center. There's something about it being a theater. Whoa, where am I? So here's the community center, and I gotta go. All right, simple enough. <laughs> Wait, I'm a cop. I can commandeer a vehicle. Mm, not really, Zach. I need to go get another. I, I need to go have someone deliver another squad car real quick. I like how the whole majority of this game is just going to be that. Ree, 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 whenever I drive. <laughs> it's not a bug, it's a feature. It's a. Yeah, it's a feature. Yeah, I keep telling yourself that. To the town. Picking up from where we left off. Speaking of 80s movies, one jewel in the rough springs to mind. Deadly Spawn. Do you remember that one, Zach? Back in 83. Directed by Douglas McCann. Right. It was filmed pretty cheap, but still it was pretty good. The monster design with the mouth crammed full of teeth. I loved it. So many delicious. Now where's that diner at? There it is. There's a suspect at the diner. Zach, let me. Is there something here that you want to check out? Let we need me to just, be at the community center by 1500 today. Just think of talking in front of all. Huh. There's a suspect in the diner. All right. closed but I guess I'll just barge in
time to get me a turkey sandwich. Nope, it's locked. Wait, I know I'll shoot the lock. <laughs> Don't. You're supposed no. to solve a crime, not make more. You're right. So we'll go through the back door. Nope. Back door. Nope. So literally, I can see what's inside the diner, but I cannot go in. And I have to wait for a loading screen just to peek through a window. <laughs> Why don't you go really back to the outside. hotel and take a sleep so that way some time will pass. And not only that, you get rested. All I need is coffee. Ah, yes. We needed an information segment on potato. Get in car. Where do I go from here? That is with me for the duration of this. Brian's house. Ann's house. Nick's house. Greenvale Sheriff's Department. Huh, interesting. That area there is pink. Collateral damage, baby. Yeah. Tremors. Fred Ward was in it. You say Fred Ward, and I say Remo Williams, The Adventure Begins. That one was back in 80. Hmm? Jack, we'll finish our chat later. Let's take a walk around here. <laughs> okay. So this is just a random place I can choose to sleep that I found. I don't, I don't know what this place is. I'm pretty sure I just walked into someone's house. You know what? I'm going to make the best of it. Ah, yes. Finally, I can shave. Nothing like a good shave before bed. <laughs> Is there a toilet? Nope, that's a bathtub. Ah, here we go. I have found the lavatory. <laughs> yes. That is exactly how it goes. Bedtime. <sighs> Do a moderate sleep. Oh, it's only like three. They've scheduled for fifteen and seven hundred. <laughs> Well, that don't feed me. Turkey sandwich time. Whoa, that refills you for a lot. Hmm. 
We needed loading screens to transition the scene. I guess I'm free to explore around and find side missions in the meantime. Uh. Yeah. Um. What'd you do? I'm in some other world right now. Uh oh. Oh! Holy shit, that thing attacked me. Well, while you're dealing with that, I'll be right back. Ow. Yeah. Dude, that thing storms after me at the speed of fucking light. Oh, he's gonna kill me. I'm running for it. I'm running for it. Fuck it, I'm going back in the house. What the hell? Why does that happen in the middle of the night? Why did I just come out of this random house and now there's a giant dog trying to attack me? I'm going back to bed. Fuck this shit. Why would I deal with that? Okay, now it's like 10, so hopefully I shouldn't have to worry about whatever the fuck's out there. Okay, good. That giant dog is gone. I mean, what the hell? Nice to know if you hit certain hours of the night, you wind up in the other world and get attacked by random shit. And I mean, where's my squad car? You know what? Fuck it, it's raining. Okay, there's quite a lot going on here. And there's a bunch of barren land. I know where Usha lives. Oh, cool. Harry Stort lives over there. There's the Greenvale Forest Park. Forest Keeper's Cabin, Jim Green. There's the lumber yard. Is there a better way to navigate this map? Cope's Tunnel. There's a lot of stuff everywhere. The White Spruce Farm. The 
the juniper farm. Muses gallery. Becky's house. A substation. I live again. Well, there's the uh, there's the hotel I was at. Huh. Yeesh. This is messing with me. Okay, I guess I'm just stumbling around for a little bit while I wait for the time to... I am, I'm in the middle of the rain, and the squad car I called for is gone. Gotta call the squad car delivery boy again. I don't know. Oh, wait, there it is. Weird place to park it. Call for someone. Whose house is this? FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. And you are? Olivia. Olivia Coleman. Nick's wife. Olivia. Now that's a lovely name. Do you think so? You're the only one who's ever said that other than my father and Nick. Oh, it's a very good name. You should be proud of it. Thanks. There's that famous singer, too, isn't there? From the 70s? She's actually from England, but she's got this really strong image of being an American pop singer. Uh-huh. That's it. Olivia Newton-John. You know of her, right? She's not only a successful singer, she's successful as an actress, too. Personally, I really liked Xanadu back in 1980. She played a key fairy and just looked amazingly stunning. It's hard to believe she was 32 at the time. Right, Zan? Uh, sorry, I'm not sure what you're talking about. He yeah. acts like a fucking loon That's when interrogating yeah. people. You should watch it when you get a chance. You'll learn to love the name. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, Olivia, do you know anything about Anna that might be helpful to me? Oh, she was a bright and lovely girl. I can't believe she... Did she ever look worried or anxious? No, not really. I just... I can't believe it, really. I'm never going to see her again, am I? She was here with us. So happy and energetic just a few days ago. She and I... We were getting all excited over some dessert. Thank you, Anne. If you remember anything else, let me know. 
Oh boy. Olivia that, could not get out of that room fast enough. That funny like, TV okay, show. Okay, I'm talking to the crazy man. Time to go. That funny TV show about a pile of logs. I love this one. Oh, you're watching Final Destination 2? Alright, who's the other suspect? <sighs> Dude, I am not reading all that. What the fuck? I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Huh. Nick Cormack, diner name? owner. Nick. I'm here to investigate the murder of Anna Graham. Do you know anything about her? Nothing much. Maville. At all? <laughs> Are you interrogating me? No. Just asking questions. Then there's nothing to talk about. Maville. Leave me alone. Nick. Are you hiding something? Shove Gonzo in the I'm universe. Sorry, it's been a few months. He's gonna be a tough one. The fuck? Why? That's okay. <laughs> Gonzo is like Nick. Always have a weak spot, so. I'm Gonzo. No, I don't know anything about the murder. <laughs> Leave me alone. I want to watch my TV show about logs. <laughs> I don't want to deal with the logs. I don't know. Look at Nick, though. He kind of looks like you. All that's missing is a fucking sh the wider like that. You need to get like a freaking uh, sweater hood, <laughs> like one of those big jackets, make you feel all warm and cozy. I think I have one. I can't remember where I put it. Ah yes, a free onion. How could I miss it? Steal this guy's groceries. <laughs> yeah. Come in their house and take their onion. Shrek would approve. I could just like raid their pantry for shit and then just take it. Well, it's for evidence. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, he just starts eating it. <laughs> he just starts eating a wrong. Oh god. Ah! <laughs> you just see him like fucking scream with like onion in his mouth. His new Halloween costume. His new Halloween costume is Nick from Deadly Premonition. I need to find out what's in their mailbox. Oh shit. They have live ammunition. I need to report this to the... ATF? I don't know. Allow me to peek on them. So I can go up into any house... Oh, yeah, this isn't creepy at all. I'm just peering into their empty bedroom. Evidence. Yes. Yeah, he's, he's just like freaking ch chowing down on an onion going ballistic in the living room. Yes, this is definitely the murder investigation of all time. Just staring at people's windows. Let me just like spy on them with my creepy face. <laughs> <laughs> oh well somebody's an artist beautiful <laughs> imagine you just had an FBI agent going up to your house and just peering through your windows like oh yeah that's a nice sculpture <laughs> Ooh, big window. Yeah, I hope you go into one of these windows and you just see the two of them. They're just staring back at you. <laughs> yeah. Yes, evidence, R Ricky. Exactly. Wait, evidence. Mm -hmm. Olivia's All of moving. this is evidence. I saw Olivia's icon briefly. She was moving. Yes. Well, I found their bedroom. They have a guest bedroom, too, apparently. What a small house, but surprisingly, a lot of space inside. Let me just see my way around until I can spot the suspects. 
Then I could shoot them through the window and uh, create probable cause. Oh, they're arguing. I like how I can hear the TV through the window. They don't even notice I'm spying on them through their window. I mean, the funny logs are just that engrossing. They can't tear their eyes off from the screen. I know, like, there's, like, all kinds of, like, really happy music and, like, funny laughing. It must be a good show. I know, right? Country Ham. Yes. I can only imagine that York isn't even trying to hide his presence in the window. He's just staring there. He's, he's just standing there looking in like it's nothing. Yeah, he's got, like, his hand pressed up against the glass like a giddy child and, like, a big smile <laughs> across his face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm investigating... Well, Zach, it's time to go invade someone else's privacy. It's part of the investigation, Zach. Be a creeper and just... Well, this is York Morgan style, honestly. Oh. I'm gonna peek through the window. What's going on in here? Hmm. Very empty looking home. <laughs> it literally tells me their house is closed. My squad car is just around the side in the grass. I like how it just like magically moves on its own. I, I also love how there was just an Agent Honor medal right there. It's like, yeah, good job. You're doing the right thing. This yeah, is exactly what the FBI does. And here's the here's medal for breaking into someone's house and staring in their windows. Yeah, just like incentivizing me to invade people's privacy. Yeah. That's one of the things, uh... I don't know. That noise. Yeah, I know. Community center is Mercury Theater. It gets progressively worse. Is Miracle Whip different than Mayo? Yeah, Miracle Whip is definitely different than Mayo. Like, yes, absolutely. What even is Miracle Whip? It's like, um, it's like a mayonnaise that's not mayonnaise. Apparently it was actually like a spread or a dressing at one point. I thought it was just mayo, but they tweaked the recipe for a little extra kick. No, actually, surprisingly, if you get a can of Miracle Whip, it'll say uh, mayo on it. Or it won't say mayo, it'll say dressing on it. Hang on, I think I got... Hang on. Shit. I brought home a bottle of that because uh, I had cans of tuna and I wanted to make tuna sandwiches. Hang on. Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, Miracle Whip is definitely, like, sweeter. No, wait, I got Kroger brand, but it's, uh... It's the same as Miracle Whip, it's just Kroger store brand. Whipped dressing. Something like that. 
Yeah, just drive I love through how you're city. you're you're driving around like a fucking maniac, and York is still sitting here talking about fucking Trevor's. Yep. <laughs> He's detached from reality. You know how it is. Yeah, for a while, for a while, most of the t conversation topics will be about, I believe, movies, and then eventually, after a different part, of, a different part of the game, he then starts talking about. Gonzo, are you uh, sure the music flex. You sure Francis isn't just you? He's successful. I'm not. <laughs> Beautiful cell phone. I like how fences are like nigh indestructible. Also, the guy that I watched to walk through friends this kind of issue where you would if you like drive on the grass a bit something will stop you but you will have no fucking idea what it is so because it's probably just, most likely invincible <clears throat> emily just lives here around the apartment complexes for whatever reason oh uh, <laughs> let me just spy on people's rooms i guess Oh, that's a very nice room. Sorry, skirt, 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 skirt. Yeah. I'm just like spying in on people's apartments because nobody's home currently. What time is it? We are officially at like uh, 9 p.m. I'll probably end at the uh, town hall meeting. And what's the time? What's the time in game? In game? Holy okay, shit. So it's you only, got like. It's only 10. I need to smoke a cigarette. Hold on. I think I showed off this mechanic before, but it's still really funny to me. Yeah, I think that'll help pass the time. Well... Just... Well... <laughs> uh, it it is exactly like that. I didn't even I didn't even realize I didn't even see that the first time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, close enough. To literally smoke a cigarette just to pass the time. Yeah, and there's a clock in the corner that shows how much time is going by. <laughs> well, it's... all you gotta do is just wait about in game half an hour. <laughs> well, you probably will. It'll probably will take you about in game half an hour just to get there. I like if how you know where you're going. I like how in my head I'm in like that weird red head space, but then in like real life you just see like this FBI agent in a poncho just smoking a cigarette in the rain. Yeah. He's wearing just like, a Hawaiian suit. <laughs> They're wearing a Hawaiian suit. <laughs> like he's like he's trying to smoke it, but the rain keeps putting out the end, so he's just sucking on it, and nothing's happening. He should have smoked on the balcony or under or like out of the rain. Like Jesus. Quite literally, Francis actually did manage to light up a cigarette in the rain at the very beginning of the game. He had like one cigarette that was ruined, so he put it in his pocket. Pulled out a new cigarette, and he was able to light it and smoke it in the rain. Now, where's that squad car at? Uh, front. There it is. All right. <laughs> that cracks me up every single time. Olivia, it's lunchtime. Woo! Maybe you'll be able to buy, get us something to buy, something to eat on the way there. Maybe having like. Yeah, I'm gonna stop at the diner. Now Joel Gray's daughter lives, of course. That's from Jennifer Gray. No, I'm still thinking Jennifer. about that. Jennifer Gray. That uh, squad car replacement thing, where you just get a whole new one. 
and I'm just imagining they just never go and pick up the other one. It's just left there for the rest of eternity. <laughs> yeah. There's just like this junker that's just rotting in the corner. Of the yeah. <laughs> they never pick it up. They never like go and grab it. It's, it's just there. This in the second game, it's just it's just it's just a pile of rusted metal by that point. Finish our chat later. Let's take a look. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? Because, you know, cop be cars are one-time use. Once, once the fuel runs out, they're gone. You have to go get a whole new one. Out of all those people. What do you think, Zach? It's going to get fun. It's going to get fun. It just breaks in. Now there's nobody in the diner. Dang it. I wanted lunch. Can't have I'm going to have to go back to... You probably have to go back to the uh to your hotel to do that, I guess, or the, something. The I remember it's I remember there's vending machines in that anyway, so you could probably use those. Yes, vending machines with thirty dollar crackers, I remember. Yeah, I think you got plenty <laughs> of money. Inflation's a bitch in this universe. Yeah. You think? It's some of the craziest shit I've ever seen. All right, ogre's got to eat an onion. I could just straight up eat an onion. Why not? Let me eat some salmon. Yeah, I just ate. You stuffed your face. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it says that. And for the lollipop, no less. I can only imagine that York just takes it, shoves the whole thing down his mouth, stick it all, and just swallows it in one gulp. That is the only reason- that is the only way that the you stuffed your face line would make sense for a fucking lollipop. I've never had a lollipop this delicious. Oh! Must be one of them Tootsie Roll Pops. <laughs> yeah, he just like takes a clean bite out of it without even licking it. Yeah. Just like Fiona! that fucking bastard owl. Fiona! Fiona! Is it weird you ate an onion and now you're after a few, somebody who Fiona? What? I was chasing her. Where'd she go? In the uh, time it, in Fiona the time was it, never real. In the time that onion's, big, that onion's a little. That, that onion's a little. Uh, it's a little long in the tooth. It's making you hallucinate. I like how I was I, I like how I was chasing her. I just like straight up rear ended her car. Yeah. <laughs> and then she's like, eh, uh, must have been nothing. Zach. Picking up from where we left off. Now Joel Gray Donna is of course. That's from Jennifer. Damn, the bar's closed. I can't even get thrashed. Gray. She's in one of my most favorite movies. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. 1986. I think you're pretty much your hunger satiated enough, so. But you really do like well, I want to get fat. I used to love those teenage movies. I don't think movies. you can into this game. It's like GTA San Andreas. You can just be fat. Fire. Nobody asks any questions. Last one was in 1982, directed by Amy Hedrick. Now, Suspect. Impressive film. You've got Sean Penn in the lead. All right, I'm gonna stop you. Phoebe Cates. Not hmm? Zach, we'll finish our chat later. Let's take a walk around here. Dude, there are literally people on the road. Oh. Usha. Hey there. Yeah. Why are you? I just stopped. Why are you out here the with the top down there, Usha? What the fuck? <laughs> well, you can clearly see that his lab coat's getting wet, too. Yeah. <laughs> he's, uh, just, he's just miserable. These people are up. He's just These people are all fucking drugs. Let's just get this the community. Let's just go to the community center and get this over with. I'm tired of all these crackheads. He's just miserable Ugh. driving in the driving in the rain to work. Oh. Fine, fine, fine. I guess everybody's making their way to City Hall now. How much time have I got? Oh yeah, it's like fourteen forty five now. I guess everybody's driving up to the town, uh, to the community center. 
Okay, that's kind of cool. That means the world's like a little dynamic. I'm gonna go harass Daphne's people in the parking lot. Later. Why not? Let's take a walk around here. They are actually making their way to City Hall. What, Suspect. What, what is what? What is he eating? Uh, I think he's eating a piece of his tire. <laughs> you know, I don't know who this guy is, but he's jamming out in the rain. <laughs> oh right, um, you'll encounter him in the fucking supermarket in town. Oh, hey, George. Uh. Wow, what an insightful answer. Yes. I've, I've called you all to the town square to tell you a very important yes. thing. Crackers are way too damn high in this town. We need to knock the price down severely. Oh, shit, Harry. I like how he... <laughs> They're all just sitting out here in the rain, waiting to go in. That that can't that can't be good for your air, air filters, Harry. <laughs> they're all soaked. You have to go get new ones. I like doubt making, they're that cheap. He's like making weird noises as the filters just like start gushing out water. Yes. Hmm. What are you driving, Thomas? This is a buggy. How do you... You're just standing here like, Oh, jeez, Rick. I'm so nervous. I really do love how the NPCs will actually move around the map at certain times. So it like makes the world actually feel alive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is pretty neat for a game like this. Like when, like when they're all supposed to meet in the community center, they'll actually be here in the parking lot waiting. Yeah, Brad, they'll be doing things like eating their own tires. But hey, they're they're here. <laughs> they're waiting. I need to actually like take a closer look at what Jim's doing. Yeah, Jim. Jim's eating something off the ground. Oh. Uh, hmm. Like, I, I don't know, what, what, did you, what did you think I was doing? Wait, turn around again. He might be doing it. He might be doing it again. I saw him bend, down, bend over right as uh, you left. He just picked a clump of dirt off the ground and started sniffing it. <laughs> yep. Mm, that's some high-quality pavement. This is definitely a very sophisticated town. Ugh. So are any of you All actually right. going to go into the town hall, or are you just going to stand out here in the rain? Uh, they're just waiting on you to reach the marker. All right, here we go, yeah. then. Everyone in town is watching you very Let's closely. Go. They want you to enter the town hall first, then they'll pile in after you. I just, like, pile through the door and just, like, kick it down. All right, I'm ready to give my speech. Clock tower is impressive, too. I look disheveled, like covered in rain. There's like a leaf in my hair. <laughs> yeah. My suit's all tattered and wet. <laughs> Perfect. All right, everybody. I'm here to give a really important speech. So the first thing I want you all to know is one thing. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I designed this ride to explain the new time. All I know is that time is a valuable thing. Watch it fly by as the pendulum swings. Also, I, I like to imagine—I like to imagine that uh, York was talking about. Oh, I've been on stage since I was a middle school. I was playing a tree. It was a big, play, a big, big role for me. I imagine he's just saying all of this into the mic, and everyone is just listening to him talking, talking to himself about uh, about this time he played fucking tree. 
How long has the flies been around? What the fuck? I like how there's a freaking mark. <laughs> He's just asleep. <laughs> Everybody's yeah, just like, everybody's just like talk. He's talking while there's like tons of flies flying around him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Ah, no, go away. Forgive me. I've been. I, I haven't had enough time to shower. I've been too busy driving around invading people's privacy and talking to my imaginary friend Zach about tremors and uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I don't know. I don't know if you actually shower in this game or not. Be, oh, I wish you did. That'd be amazing. I would love that. <laughs> flies that's, why, that's, why worse. There, that's why there's flies around me. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> I smell like ass. <laughs> Thomas is just like, hmm. going out when it's raining. Now I've heard the folklore story. Like, avoid going out when it was raining. It was raining when you all came in here. So that rule's already been broken. Women should also be especially careful. I would hate to see more victims. <laughs> They're all just dead still. They're not even moving suddenly. Oh shit, she's marching down with attitude. Oh. Carol, bar owner and singer. Who's the fashionable blue link now? That's Carol, Thomas's sister. She owns a bar. Thomas's sister. <laughs> you know, just starts jerking off. Avoid going outside when it is raining. Young women should be especially careful. Report anything or anyone suspicious immediately. Murderer will be caught and brought. All right, so I'm here to declare martial law over these thirty-dollar crackers. This is ridiculous, folks. Do you know how much crackers cost in an average grocery store? I'll tell you something, not $30 for a small pack of them. We need to solve this. <laughs> oh boy. What's about to happen? There's Harry. And his fucking manservant. We must not frown. The loss of honor was for that day. Purple fog covers our town. We'll all wander into hell in tight breaks. So says Mr. Stewart. Why does he speak in rhymes? I don't know. So says Mr. Stewart, and then he like pushes him off stage. <laughs> so says Mr. Stewart. Well then, Zach. <laughs> oh yeah, Mr. Stewart. Before all these guys. Wow, know. I didn't know they make a sequel to Throw Mama from the Train. All right, what do we got? <laughs> Yeah. The flies are still there. I hope they stay there for the rest of the game now. I hope I hope it's because I smell like ass. Quite a Wait. performance. I hope so too. Oh god. <laughs> I don't think many of your audience appreciate this. <laughs> this guy smells like shit. It's York Mall. The purple Look, I'm wearing a gas mask and I can still room. smell through it. Soiling and ruining our town. The evil does not drain. <laughs> Find out why the town is soiled. Remove the source from which it boils. Then and only then, your case is solved. But for this to happen, to solve the crime, the proper must do the proper at the proper time. It is not yet mine. That is, Mr. Stewart's time, not mine. But if you, Mr. York, Find the right and now I'm wondering how long those flies have actually been there, because I'm only really noticing them now. May that be. They weren't there when they rained. Oh, God, Mr. Stewart, Stewart, you're wearing a gas mask. You can't smell how putrid this man smells. So, Harry, you know something. I haven't bathed in two days. It's part of the investigation. Is that what you're trying to say? That's a poetic rubbish, Harry, and tell us what you know. <laughs> we could force you to talk, you know. I like how there are just more. flies around me. Pay close attention. Did he oh, swat God. at the flies? No oh, he did! <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> this! They may be. He just, just left <laughs> mid-sentence. <laughs> so says Mr. Stewart. Thanks for the warning. Harry. It's like, God damn it, I can't <laughs> talk to all these fucking flies. <laughs> 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 You're like, like one look, I, 
one landed like, in his mouth. We can mouth force you to talk for a second. Oh, fuck! I I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, God. It's the exact same man. Three times over. <clears throat> There's a there's a real conspiracy going on. Oh wait, there's a fourth guy at the back too. There's a fourth one. <laughs> in the back. Oh my god, I see him. Dude, the real conspiracy is they have like a cloning thing going on here. I think these flies are spiraling around me. <laughs> they yeah. are. They're only flying around you in a circle. It's because I haven't going anywhere else. It's because I haven't taken a shower, I think. <laughs> they love you. <laughs> the Fuck. only thing that makes it better if there was a consistent, if there was like a consistent buzzing noise for each fly that surrounds you. Oh my god! Oh be, lord! That would be amazing. I gotta go get the suspects. Ugh. Where are they at? Suspect. Good evening, agent. <laughs> the insomniac. Good evening, Mr. Why does the gravekeeper oh, hi, look Marilyn like Marilyn Manson? A... How are you doing? Ma yeah, uh, <laughs> Marilyn Mr. Manson. Auditioning for little girl. Damn. Uh... Anna. Oh, she is so beautiful. Too soon. Too. Jesus, Michael Keaton has not seen better days. Well, this corpse anyway. Totally Beetlejuice, agree. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Looking for the one God did. damn you. What have you done? I, I may look like a corpse, but at least I don't smell like I, one. I, her smile <laughs> so warm. Anna, it's okay, the flies are eating off the dead so skin. I will look purer than ever. There's a graveyard somewhere in town, Zach. I'm not excited about the idea, but maybe we should at least check it out. <laughs> Genuinely, this could be because I haven't bathed in a while. <laughs> Sorry, one of the flies came out of the stream and went right down my mouth. <laughs> Wasn't fun. Never is. Francis smelled like he poopied. Carol, you're under arrest. Hold your breath, because I smell like a dead man. What do you mean? Are you saying she was killed because she was an airhead? Or are you saying that she was an airhead for being killed? I'm sure she's still an airhead, even in heaven. She changed her hair every day. If she lost I bet if they'd had enough dad, time, the suspects anyone, would react differently if you hadn't bathed in a while. She broke many, yeah. many plates every day at the diner, and she'd always have a smile on her face. Always having fun. I, I love how in, in, in a lot of these the cutscenes recently, adorable, when their animation's finished, they just they just but stand completely still and right just do on. nothing. I wouldn't be surprised like their lips still move, but they're they're perfectly still chair. like a statue. Oh boy, I'm getting all kinds uh, of information. Isaac and Isaiah. That that that, that is a lovely face right there. A goddess. Oh my god. Ow. She's walked. I called her a goddess, and now she's walking away. It's because I smell, isn't it? Oh boy, heavy cigarettes, my favorite. Now, where are the other people? Dude, my feet just clomp around. It's Bill from Left for Dead. Oh, so he did live. Yeah, and apparently he made it into Deadly Premonition. That's a harsh downgrade. Maybe he should have died trying to restart that fucking generator. After a man returns from war, there's no place to go other than his hometown. In your little speech, you mentioned the raincoat killer. 
Was that a problem? You imbecile. The raincoat killer's no myth, not mere folklore. Not a fairy tale. It's based on actual events that happen in this town. It is. I'm interested. Oh, boy. Can you tell me more about this? <laughs> you kids today don't even know how to ask for something right. I said, can you? If you want to hear more, you come to my office. He literally exudes raw power, Zack. Despite the credibility issues, we should give him a visit. One thing, though. He calls himself a general, but isn't that a sergeant's uniform? Oh, stolen valor. Kill him. Kill valor? What? Oh! You're right. It's time. Oh! Oh! You can just... I didn't think you could actually pull out the gun and shoot into like a, a like a regular building. What? Hey, hey! Oh, I can lose. <laughs> if I oh! point, if I point the gun at people, I lose points. Oh! <laughs> like I said before, you hear the silver cry. Stop! Make him. Agent York, you making progress? Of course, <laughs> plenty. Get the bad ending. <laughs> Tell me, Usher, what is on his mind? That's still undecided. You know, I just realized I picked, I pulled out my gun and started shooting at the black guy without realizing it. <laughs> yeah, she did. Yes. I'm living up to my United States police status. She probably huddled up at home, and I should probably take some time to pay her a visit. Well, yes, you should, and I'd appreciate it if you could too. Uh, but don't go too hard on her, okay? Okay, my bad. Sorry for pointing a gun at you. I lost money for that. <laughs> Are you getting closer to catching the murderer? Hello again, Fiona. Good to see you here. Well, Dr. Johnson told me to be here. He said it would be important. Well, that was good advice. He may be young, but he seems like a wise man. Oh, and he's a very hard-working person, too. Everyone thinks he's some kind of weirdo, but I don't think so at all. People don't understand why he's in the autopsy room all day, but I do. He's doing research to make the world a better place in the future. You know, he already made a fortune in L.A. with his career. I did not know that. You didn't? Oh, the doctor is a very rich man. He has a really big house over by the lake. Amazing, Zack. He must be loaded. Rich and young. A perfect combination. I won't say white because we're not at that point yet. He doesn't show it. That's one of the things I like best about him. Well, I could have been fooled if it weren't for you. Thanks for the valuable information, Fiona. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Eh, 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 eh. Who else is here? You're a suspect for whatever reason. I, I think we both know why York suspects this guy. Call me York. Wesley. Stop it. The gun store called Panda Bear. <laughs> People around here call me the gunsmith. He owns a gun store. Was there something you want to ask me? How do you make a living running a gun store in a place like this? I'd be worried because there can't be that many customers. Worry gives a small thing a big shadow. I do gunsmith work in my shop, too. If you got the skills, the customers find you. All you need is a network. I hope so. Toolbox. Here's that what I've a very got. big toolbox. You've got quite a selection here. No wonder people come from all around. Even today, a customer paid me to go to Seattle for some help. I just got back. I see. Well, well at least I'll he's getting work. Your store sometime. I'd like for you to take a look at my gun. Understood. Look forward to it. The shop will be open again tomorrow. It's usually open from 2000 to 0600. See you then. I like how they all use military time. They don't mm -hmm. use, like, typical time like most people. You, Johnny Greaser, I want to talk to you. I regret this. Hey. Hey there, F. 
FBI. Maybe the flies will fly into his mouth and fucking make him choke. This guy's the convenience store owner? Yeah. You could buy shit off of him. Okay, yours. No he never left the 50s. I hear you run the milk bar and convenience store. That's right, man. Rock and roll! <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Raincoats, say by any chance? Do you sell weed? Nah, weed doesn't make you tweak like that. <laughs> He's on like some harder shit. This yeah. star rocks. <laughs> That's a new one. I'll drop by your store soon and let's talk then. Yeah, cool, man. Rock on FBI. Rock on Danny. FBI. Sorry, I'm late. What? You are late by a mile. Holy shit. Took a nap. Must have been a good nap. Fuck you. Glad you missed the stream, huh? You are Isaac and Wait, Isaiah's mother. Fuck. Just about. We're almost. Damn yeah. We just gotta get done me talking with all these fucky people. Fuck! Special agent. Agent York, right? Oh, this is Keith's you wife. <laughs> the handsome uh, agent from the big how the hell did you get with this I'm chud? He makes me laugh. Everyone's talking about yes. Well, I if it worked for Jessica Simp? Not just Simpson. Well, Rabbit, there we go. Jessica, Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> Wait, did Jessica Simpson ever get married to, like, some sort of funny guy? It's like, I don't know. Always leaving the house left foot first. Oh. It's one of those things. Jessica, yeah, Jessica, Megan knows Jessica, what's up. <laughs> Jessica Simpson. <laughs> so, have you noticed anything strange or out of place recently? Well, Becky's been taking a couple of days off from work, but aside from that, I heard she was in shock after the murder. But... <laughs> you think there's something else? Well, I took the boys along to see her today. She's always so kind to them, and they love seeing her too. But she took in the boys and told me to wait outside. Something about a special secret between just the three of them. I just couldn't understand it. Now that's interesting. Becky, will you? A special Perhaps secret. You should give Becky a yeah. tomorrow, Zach. Thanks for the coffee, Becky. Ho, ho, ho. We're getting all kinds of new information by interrogating these people. Yeah. Holly, I see you staring at that. There. That's mine. What is in the Oh, box? boy. My, my oh, this one. This one's quite a character. Yes. Sigourney, the pot lady. My pot is getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch looks like she's some kind of pot. Hey, hey. I'm Sigourney. Sigourney. Sigourney Weaver? Sigourney, okay. Now, what is the matter? Can you explain? No time for chatting. I need to hurry. My pot is getting colder. Her pot is getting colder, guys. Oh, you're useless. Yeah, she's a... Uh, We've met all sorts of... She's something all right. Really? She takes the cake. Amazing. All right. Well, these look like an odd couple. Is it really any odder than Keith hey, and good looking. what's her name? Nice speech. I do not know how that happens. And you are? Oh, I'm Gina. I'm married to Jack. He runs the gas station. Call me the rose. You look pretty revealing. Oh, <laughs> this old thing. Oh, you should see some of my other clothes. No. You. Oh, now you are cool. That scar. I don't have time to get horny during a murder investigation. You come to my station. I'll give you a little extra. All right. Space. That would be great. Can't believe how expensive gas I'll say this with, a, with, a, with how revealing those clothes are. I imagine it was hell just standing out in the rain waiting for him to go in at the start. Information on Isaac. Yeah. Have you seen anything suspicious? Oh, I don't know. Talk to my hubby about the difficult stuff, okay? This is getting us nowhere, Zach. She wants pee pee and bum. Okay, got it. I ain't got nothing to tell the cops. What the fuck? I love the way he I love the way he holds out his badge. It's like, eh. Shut up. Look at it. Just give me your name. I'm Jack. They call me Raisin Bull. That's a man. Why does he sound like John Wayne? I only talk to Ben Franklin. You know, first impressions are important. I can entertain you for a few days and maybe you'll become more fun to meet. 
Zach, this is a waste of time. Let's go. I'm going to detain your ass here in a minute now. Let's see, who else do I need to talk to? Therapist. I think half the people in this town need a therapist. <laughs> They're weird. Well, what little I remember of playing this game, yeah. Well, I just want to address, why are there fucking flies all over you? What the fuck oh. is going on you just noticed the flies. No, I know that. I'm just addressing it now. <laughs> I think it's because Francis hasn't bathed in a while. So he just smells like ass while he's talking to everybody. Like, there was a scene earlier where uh, George, the, the cop guy, was going to, like, try and interrogate Harry, the, some guy in a wheelchair and a mask. And right after he was done, like, listen, you better talk or we'll put you away for a few days. You know, whatever, whatever, whatever. As Harry was responding, he 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 swatted at some of the flies around York's around York and just left mid <laughs> mid conversation. He just oh, up and left. The flies were too much for him. I'm wondering who he is now, but aside from that, did it tell you anything? It told me that you didn't kill Anna. Of course not. What are you saying? You ought to see that tattoo, Zach. A big heart with an arrow through it and love G in the center. I don't know when you got that done, but we've all been through the 80s. <laughs> Agent Morgan, here's your chance to get to know some of the townsfolk. Don't let it go to waste. Well, that's uh, reassuring. Yes. Don't mind me, I stinky. McStinkums stink a lot. And... Oh, I love how they always fly in a perfect circle, too. Yeah. They're not even like actual flies. They just circle around me like an yeah, aura. They're like tiny so moons. Was killed. But why does that bring the FBI here? The Darts Bar employee. I interest in murder cases <laughs> involving young women. Well, you know, man, this might just be another case to you. But it means the death of a friend to me. I don't want you taking this lightly like it's just another case. I never take anything of this nature lightly, I assure you. I'm here to apprehend the perpetrator who did this. Yeah, because local enforcement can't shine their own boots, right? Good point. You can't always count on the police now, can you? But that doesn't mean you're going to capture the perpetrator yourself. Wait, how do you know my name? I memorize the name of every citizen before arriving in town. I also know about you and your significant other. You mean Becky? Don't underestimate the FBI. We know and see everything. Um, sorry if I was a little harsh. We I know and see everything. Me. So why? Okay. Why haven't you found the murder yet, huh? Okay, Zach. I'll tell you how. My I deep his name. state conspiracy He's got a goes small deeper Q than this. On his hat. That was the only name beginning with Q that I could think of. He was even kind. What? Damn it, Zach. His I think this guy's about to call my bluff. I can read him like a book, Zach. I can't let know that I actually don't work for the FBI. I'm just carrying this badge around and pretending. <laughs> All right, Chuck Norris, what do you got You're to York, tell me? Right? I'm Richard Dunn, the owner of the Darts Bar, two area 65. I wonder if anybody actually tries to play darts on a little dartboard on his head. How'd you like the town? Oh, it's great. Ah! <laughs> murder there last year. Yeah. He just has a dart in his fucking cost. head. Well, Richard, I'll have <laughs> because Crime why the fuck not? Yeah. <laughs> how do you know this guy's the fucking thing? Yes, you're right. How do you, how do you know this guy's the owner of the dartboard company? He has a little dartboard right on his hat. <laughs> That's how you know this was developed by a Japanese guy. What do you know about yeah. that? It just has those quirky things about it. I never thought our children would be the same age. I don't see her here today. Oh, well, see, she lost her husband, and this time it's her daughter. She's at home right now, trying to make peace with it all. You seem to know a lot. How long have you been in love with her? <laughs> hey, hey, don't go there. That scar of yours tells me you got your hands full too, right? Let's not dive into personal matters. It'll be better for you and me. You're right, Richard. Collecting gossip won't help with the matter at hand. All right. Now let's see. Zach, Who else? we need to find all of Richard's secrets so we can blackmail him, him into telling us more about his love for Emily. <laughs> 
Sure, why not? New phone, who dis? You know, I'm thinking about, I saw Keith again for a second, and I, re I remember he was actually doing it in the rain. He was doing that exact same animation yeah. out in the rain when he was waiting for you. I didn't say anything then, but... Yeah, everybody was just standing out in the rain. Yeah. I'm not sure if this will be of any help, but... Anything, no matter how small, could be of help. Well, you see, the diner closes when it rains. Many shops do that around here, as you might have heard. Anyway, Anna always seemed unfocused the day after it rained. And came in late, too. It was almost as if she used up all her energy the day before. Come to think of it, that was really strange. Did that legendary monster really kill her? He wasn't a monster. Just a criminal. A criminal I'm going to catch and bring to justice. A criminal that tried to kill me with an axe. But it's okay. I dodged his axe several times and then shot the elevator button and trapped him in the sawmill. I'm not I kidding. Look, you can't Bruh. Can I just say though, I love how he acts like, oh, this isn't a this isn't a monster, this isn't some mythical thing, it's just some That's random criminal. All. Even though he's dealt with however many fucking zombies by this point. And alright. I know what a monster is. That's a man with glowing eyes. <laughs> he doesn't seem to be a monster anyways. He has to rely on a goddamn weapon. He has to rely on your mom! No. Let me just go ahead and call headquarters. Did one of you try to spit on me? Whatever. <laughs> Jim, thanks to your help in the forest, how are Isaac and Isaiah? They're fine. They really seem to love their grandpa. Well, I guess they do, son. I want to keep them away from the filth of the material world as much as I can. Their mother agrees, which is why she lets me take care of them so often. And that's why I want you to solve this case quickly and go home. Those rumors about that scar of yours do more damage than good in my book. I guess I reek of the material world, don't I? I have to in order to do my job. No, but you reek of something else. You know. I smell like ass. I'd think the same <laughs> if I was born in a place like this, Zach. If I was born a redneck, Zach, I would think very paranoid thoughts. Mr. Morgan, you're quite an impressive public speaker. Really? Thank you, Polly. You reminded me a little of a play I saw when I was younger. What kind of play? I'm talking about back when this place was still called the Mercury Theater. When I was young, I used to come here often with my husband. God rest his soul. We'd come on the weekend to see the latest play. He'd always pretend to be uninterested, but I could tell he was excited inside. He was just one of those kind of guys, really, thinking about it now. Really, Polly? So what's your favorite play? Oh, well, I like so many. There was one in particular, but... I can't recall the name anymore. Oh, it was a very famous one, too. Something by Shakespeare? Oh, um... No, nothing. One more bell that doesn't ring anymore. I've always been forgetful about the plays we used to see anyway. Oh, and my husband would get angry at me for forgetting what we saw. He'd go on for hours retelling what the play was about. His eyes were so sparkling, like a happy young boy. I see. His eyes were sparkling, so like the um, like the raincoat killer. Ah! Yeah. I pull out the gun and just start shooting at Polly. Sorry for having to hurry away. I had to kill that old woman. She was the raincoat killer. She could embarrass the Yeah, I'm sure that old bitch was. She successfully avoided answering my question, Zach. Amazing. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Morgan, I'd like to let everyone go home now. Let's go outside. Okay, let's go. Yes, they were all being held against their will before they could leave. 
They had to let... They're all held here. There are guards posted at every door, preventing them all from leaving. They had to let me speak to oh, each other. He's, still, he's, still, he's still, doing it as he's walking away. <laughs> he's still tweaking, even though Dude, he's walking he's, away. There he is again. It, he's doing it faster than he was before. He's like, <laughs> 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 That's weird. I love it. <laughs> oh, what is this game? It's an asset trick. That's what the fuck it is. Seven thousand two hundred and fifty-nine dollars just for giving a public speech. Damn. There we go. I can finally accord, afford crackers, Zach. I can finally afford crackers. You hate this something when a fucking package of crackers costs more than your fucking tank of gas. I need to contact HQ and give a progress report too. Okay, then let's call it a day here. Sounds good. Contact my office when you finish your report. We'll pick you up tomorrow morning. Diane, the owner of the art gallery, will be back soon. All right then, let's do that. Uh, hold on, Agent York. We're going out to eat at Nick's diner. Would you like to come with us? The diner? That might be nice. Thomas is a great cook, but Nick is the real deal. No visit to Greendale is complete without eating at the A&G. A very appealing proposition. Zach, what do you think? We can always go back to the hotel after eating dinner. Or go directly back to the hotel. You decide, Zach. Let's eat with them, sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see what's happening. Let's all have sugar donuts together, Zach. I like how the flies are dominant in every fucking scene. They're just glued to me. They're always there. <laughs> While people are eating now, too. <laughs> Jesus. I sure hope the health inspector isn't here to see any of these flies. Regular stuff. A high school kid shoplifting from the milk barn, maybe? Or some hot headed. Damn it, York, I taste one of your damn flies. Nothing more than that. <laughs> Why is it in my burger? What kind of cases have you dealt with in the past? Not much different from those you've just mentioned. The case I was on until last month. Well, the guy killed seven girls in a three-month period. He sawed their heads off from the neck and took them back to his house. He cleaned the skulls up and... He's talking about how fucked right. up his previous he case was while, while they're eating. As a urine cup. Motherfucker, motherfucker got a somehow. <laughs> that was his way of doing it. His story is so shocking, she just stopped mid-animation just to process what he's talking about. For him, that was a holy ritual. The question of his mental state was the pivotal point in the court case. Oh, man. You're fucking drunk? What the hell is that pose? hundred percent. Drinking from a skull. Well, that those he had used to relieve himself he would then just use them to drink from again. ew yeah that was too much for him it's just not sanitary N that's, that's just what not made sanitary. Him I, not sanitary that's just not sanitary uh, he says after he's not showered for so long that an entire colony of flies have just gathered around him yeah <laughs> an ingenious law school student raked over 800 victims that was oh Thank you. 800? 800 no, victims! You How? That's a shame, isn't it? How? I've How never the fuck did he get away with doing 800? It's like 800! Different world. I mean, you're like Was he doing it for like 20 years? In your eyes, you He's just going first. Okay, one, two, three. Next person. One, two, three. Next person. Uh, <laughs> oh, the. Wow. 800 people. The cases you have solved are all full-fledged crimes. I'm Francis York Morgan. A crime. <laughs> Size doesn't matter. I'm not just There's an FBI no agent. I'm a super FBI agent. Crimes always have a criminal and a victim. No victim will ever welcome a crime, no matter what its size. So, fundamentally, there is no difference in size. Well said, Agent Morgan. We work day and night to preserve peace and order in this town. 
You understand that, right? Of course. <laughs> but still, I don't view shoplifting and Anna's murder as the same level of crime. Me, me neither. I never even dreamt that such a thing could ever even happen in this town. <laughs> I keep on expecting to see Anna. Here in the diner, <laughs> waiting on David. Yeah, you know, take focus <laughs> off of him so McCree yeah. can get his fucking coffee. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like fuck this guy whining about the safety of his town. What's the guy in the back doing? Stuff? This animation stuff works with this guy's yeah. mouth. What the fuck is that shit? Yes, that's, yeah, that's a what That's this yeah. game. What All the these fuck? animations what right stop halfway. <laughs> Be like if you stopped all functional movement and just stayed there while, like a statue, while you spoke. Yeah, my screen's a bit fucking delayed on while I'm watching it. Who's in the diner? I just finished eating. It's empty now. Magic. Oh my goodness. Where is my squad car? Right there. Well, oh, I thought you had to go get the, the, the squad car delivery boy again. <laughs> yeah, just fire off a flare into the sky to get another squad car. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just got home, but okay, if you insist. And then just, and then he has to walk all the way back home. Yeah, just he looks at the next town over. He has to walk down the the thing by himself. I do not want to talk about horror movies right now. I am going to retire into this random house that is not mine. And these flies are going to get off of me. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's see what I can do. Shave. Uh, I need to find a bathtub of some sort. There's a bathtub right here. Just flies around. Actually, I think you need to switch suits or something like that in order to do something like that. Switch what? You need to switch suits or something because I think there's an option that you got to get them cleaned or something. Really? Yeah. I think I've seen something like that in the previous in the playthrough I've seen. I have to switch my suit. Yeah. Also, I love how the gun store thing is just right there. It's just in someone's house. Yeah. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> yeah, it's very dirty. Yeah, you just basically gotta clean. So I have to change clothes and then clean my suit. It costed ten dollars to clean this Hawaiian suit. What is this made of? Why is there even what? Why is there even a suit cleaning mechanic? Yeah. There you go. You got rid of the flies. Yeah. Because my suit I mean, stank. Yeah. Like York is fine. He just cannot get dirty apparently, but his suit just Ugh. Bedtime. Okay, hold on. Alright. Where is my ability to call HQ? Is there not a phone in this house? I think it's just automatic or some shit like that. But you're trying to look for a save point too? Yes. Because I'm kind of... Yeah. Screw it, I'll sleep. Take a long sleep. 
see. Yay, 12 hours. Better get something to eat soon, Zach. Now let's go outside. Yeah. Good thing the good thing the person that owns this house just isn't here for some reason. Yeah, like just randomly this house I can sleep in. Yeah. Just is it yours? Probably not. You're you're visiting. Yeah, it's just it's no like well. Doubt. Okay, wherever I'm just Wherever what? there's a telephone, I can save. Yeah. Okay. My squad car is all the way over here for some reason. I'll work with it. Oh, boy. Time for Yorkie Borky to get out. Mm. I guess I've just got fle free exploration at this point. Yeah. You just wander around, interrogate people, be a menace to society, all that fun stuff. All right. And that's how you go back to the title. All right, it's been a fun stream. We went for actually longer than the scheduled period. Usually we do a two-hour stream. This one's a three-hour stream. Yay, I got the ass in the stream. Yay! Yeah! Woo! Good job. Fuck off. <laughs> at, least you got, at least you caught a glimpse of, of uh, Keith the Tweaker and, his, and York's army of flies. <laughs> yeah, Keith the Tweaker. <laughs> Attack my insectoids. As I smoke a cigarette and pass the time. Yeah. The Rango killer comes to get you, he just gets swarmed with flies. Ah, oh, fuck. Shit. I haven't washed my suit in two weeks. <laughs> oh, that is ridiculous. I love it. Yes. <laughs> just like such ridiculous mechanics in this game. Pointless mechanics at that. Yeah. It's like, what? What does it matter? Why does there need to be a system where your suit's dirty? And there's flies gathering around you. Does that really need to be in this game? No. Did there need to be a sleep and eat meter? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> did this? Did there need to be combat in this game? Probably not. But Microsoft said, "Hey, do it." Yeah. Apparently, I'm... why the hell not? Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks for coming out, guys. Appreciate You're it. You're It's fun. And thank you, everybody, for coming to the Deadly Premonition stream on Friday at 7 p.m. As always, I'm Sharpwing. Hopefully you've enjoyed yourself. Nice casual stream. Yeah. All right, everybody. You want to, like, promote yourself or whatever? Yeah, I kind of want to head off for now. Uh, for those who do know my stupid ass, uh... I'll move from SFM to Blender soon. Me too. So, yeah. Good luck with that. Damn, son. Where'd you find that? Blender? It's, it's free. No, I mean, like, where'd you find out how to animate on it? Uh, I'm learning right now. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm learning Blender. Yeah, Blender was always, like, a common thing with SFM, but, like, people were largely just using it to, like, create and port models. Like me? No. I'm yeah. just trying to learn the whole thing. <laughs> Wake up! Yeah. Wake up! Uh, my new partner keeps bugging me about Blender stuff. Show me Blender. I'm like, well, I haven't done this before. It's so much freedom, and it doesn't crash every five fucking minutes. I'm wondering what that guy who made Skibbity Toilet used, because I don't know if he used, like, SFM or Gmod. I think he used... still uses SFM. It, it's, it's SFM, yeah. Yeah, SFM. I think the fuck boom has always used SFM for a while now. That's pretty badass that he, like, made a skibbity toilet just with SFM, though. Yeah. I mean, if, if you guys haven't seen skibbity toilet, that thing is a ride. I've, I've caught some of it, yeah. It is, it is weird. It, it, I know, it, like, 
it's the good know, it's the good kind of weird it like reminds yeah, me of like, the uh, heyday of gmod and sfm yeah mm-hmm. it's like the good times are rolling back yeah if i remember correctly the whole skibbity <laughs> toilet thing was an offshoot of another video he did that was that was just a guy doing the skibbity thing yeah and then he just made a toilet version and that just gave its own thing and then it blew up, and now what the fact? Yeah, now it's yeah. like their skibbity toilet lore, <laughs> which is why is there lore for skibbity toilet? This is easily the best timeline. Don't take it for granted. I know, but it's like one of those who is Bruh. Mr. Toilet, and why is he skibbitying all over the place? Who are the cameramen? <laughs> Dude, like, freaking, I, I I was sitting down, I was talking with Wade, he used to do, like, Gmod Horror and stuff with me, and he's the one who introduced me to Skibbity Toilet, and he's, like, he's, like, freaking psyched about it, his favorite uh, character is, like, the freaking Camera Titan, and he's, like, really, really uh, excited for Skibbity Toilet, <laughs> and... <laughs> I think my 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 friend Dave was like, I never thought I'd hear out of somebody's mouth, "Oh boy, skibbity toilet." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These kids are into some interesting shit. I like it. It makes me feel well. I'm not like quite as old as like Danny over here. Fuck off. But I'm definitely like an old fart compared to kids who are still in middle school. Yeah. Our our prime is over. I might be young, but our heyday has passed. It has, and I'm try- I'm still clinging on to it. <laughs> Give me my like an old back. man w- w- fucking looking back at the old good old days. Just like a geriatric fucking SFM animator coming down with a with a fucking walker. <laughs> Fuck you. Where's my crown and coat? Get it for me! <laughs> uh, and kids today, you're skipping it to us. Back in my day, we had the G-Bot idiot box, and that was all we needed. We <laughs> had we had Kitty 706 before he died from leukemia. We had we had Team Fabulous 2, and that's all we needed. Skibbity toilets. Yeah, the only thing that's good for is shitting. <laughs> Flush the toilet. Oh, wait, that's actually how you kill them. <laughs> yeah. This is like a person that realized the irony of, like, the joke that they told. So they were just like, yeah, you kill them by flushing them. <laughs> and, like, somehow they managed to make, like, a guy just, like, pulling out two plungers and just walking down, like, a freaking deadly street. <laughs> look badass. <laughs> Fucking bruh. <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.